Alright, in this video we're going to talk about uh, the number of subsets that a set has. Uh, but before we and learn how to calculate how many there will be, and we'll list them. Uh, but before we do that, let's look at what a subset is. So a subset A, or a, I'm sorry, a set A is a subset of a set B, provided that every element of A is also an element of B. And this is the notation we use to represent a subset. So in other words, uh, what they're saying here is if A is equal to the set, say, 1, 2, and B is the, is the set, say, 1, 2, 3, 4, then we can say that A is a subset of B because every element of A is also an element of B. But B is not a subset of A. And we'd use the subset symbol with a line through it. Because see, every element of B is not in A. Okay. And then we have here for any set A, the empty set is a subset of A, and the set A itself is a subset of A. So here we could actually say that A is a subset of A and we could say here B is a subset of B. Okay? Because see every element of A is also in A. All right. And then of course the empty set is a subset of both of these. Okay, and then here we have a set A is said to be a proper subset of a set B if every element of A is an element of B, but B contains at least one element that is not a member of A. So here, see, A, A would also be a proper subset of B because B contains at least one element that A does not. But see here, A is not a proper subset of A, okay, because they contain the exact same. All right, so that's just a quick little review on subsets. But here they want us to uh, determine the number of subsets and list them. All right, so a set of indistinct elements has two to the n subsets. So how many subsets are we going to have? Well, let's calculate that. So that's going to be... 2 to the n. n represents the number of elements in the set. Well, there's 1, 2, 3 elements. So 2 cubed, and that would be 8. So this set here has 8 subsets. And so now let's list them. And it's easy to list them. Well, the first one is going to be the empty set. Because remember, the empty set is a subset of any set. All right. And then we have, and then what I do is I just list each one of them individually. So we've got the set A, the set B, and the set C. So there's three subsets. And then we have what? The set AB, and then the set AC. Okay, so I paired A with each one. Now let's do the B. So I've got the set BC. Okay, and I'm not going to do BA because I already got it. I already have it here. Okay, the order's not going to really matter. All right. So so far that's all of them. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have one more. Well, what could that be? Well, that would be what the set itself. A, B, C. Okay, so I think that's the easiest way to do it. You got the empty set, the set itself, and then you've got each one as an individual set. Okay, each element is an individual set, and then you've got A, B, A, C, and then go to the B, B, C, and that that takes care of all of them. You know, if you had one more than let's say say you had a D here, then you would just list A, B, C, D. And then you would have A, B, A, C, A, D. And then you would have B, C, B, D. 
and then you would have CD and then of course the set itself. Alright so hope that helped. Uh, check out my other videos. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe and thanks for watching.